Hi there, Kevin Roman, coming back to you to give you another little tip to help you during this quarantine to keep improving your game. One of the biggest problems I think people have in golf is the concept of it's a side-on game. What do I mean by that? Well, if I was playing baseball or tennis, except for the serve in tennis, it would be hitting it from a side of the, side of the object. When I set up to a golf ball, I'm to the side of the ball, two feet closer to me. So what does that mean? Well, many people think to make the ball go straight, you're going to swing it in a straight line. If I held this straight up and down, but I'm to the side, so it's got to have a curve. So what I have here is a curved swing arc by Perfect Putter. Uh, you'll see me have these out on the range all the time because the hardest part for people to understand in golf, they all say, okay, I'm supposed to get it behind me. I'm coming from a little bit from the inside. They get that. What they don't understand is that if I'm standing to the side of the ball, so imagine there's my setup. I'm just going to lower down, squatting down. And all I have to do from there is cock my right wrist back and bring my right wrist and straighten it coming through. I didn't twist it. You'll see I have an airplane on here. And I've got a little lie angle that shows me the club face. And this is a wedge, so it gives you a little bit of loft looking. But if I do this with the plane, the, the wings are level. The wings are still level. What you don't see me do is as I come through, twist the plane and make it crash. That's what I see so many people doing in golf. So just squat down if you can, or even if you can't, hold it up here. I'm going to bring the right wrist behind me and around me. And you can see how level that club stays. Now watch what would happen if I just bent from the waist and I swung the club, that lines up with the hoop and back around with the hoop. And as I swing it, you can see there's the hoop and there's the hoop. From a full swing standpoint, there it is. You see the wings are level. The wings are still there. I didn't let my golf club or airplane crash land. I see so many people doing this big hard rollover thinking that's what they're supposed to do because they've been told I got to hold on and lag it. My airplane now the wings it's still going in the reverse. Now I got to get it forward and I twist it. That isn't going to work very well. You see the orange thing of the club face is at the ground. So if you try to pull and hold lag, the face is going to be pointed at that camera that I'm using until the last second. Then I have to drop it and twist it and hopefully I get lucky and hit the lottery. When your timing's on that day, you think you've got it. When your timing's off the next day, you think, I, never, I don't know how to play the game and I'm lost. That's the nature of someone who does a lot of twisting. But if you just take a piece of cardboard, you, can just, you don't have to make an airplane, but you can make a sides. And I want you to hold it in front of you and just let it pass you back and through like you're throwing. That's where you can get a lot of speed. My airplane is not changing angle. I'm not coming in and twisting it like crazy. Okay? So I want you to take some swings and this, especially people who swing a little flatter on the backswing, this is imperative. If someone swings a little more upright, they don't have to do or they can get away with a little bit more twisting because their face is, their face is already a little bit more open. Okay? So all I want you to do is 25 of these keeping it level just like we did pitching on the earlier ones. There, I pitched it. I kept this wings at a 45. If, unless you don't like to hit straight balls, twisting that shaft is never going to be very repetitive. If you have any questions about this arc in the end, please let me know.